People here uh, come from very uh, different groups uh, with one thing in common, of course, uh, their support for President Donald Trump. But the, the groups really go from uh, simple uh, Trump supporters who have come from all across the country. I spoke to people who came uh, from Pennsylvania, from Florida, uh, from uh, also the neighboring uh, states of Virginia and uh, Maryland. But this also goes all the way to white nationalist uh, groups like uh, the Proud Boys. Uh, I saw several different groups of Proud Boys uh, gathering here in uh, this march. Now, you see the crowd behind me has thinned a little bit, but that's uh, because, as you mentioned, uh, these uh, people are marching. They started at Freedom Plaza and they're marching all the way uh, to Congress. And while this uh, rally has been dubbed uh, the Million MAGA Rally, the numbers are falling short of uh, a million, but there are thousands and thousands of uh, Trump supporters were here. The messages are also uh, very varied. Of course, uh, one of the main messages is stop the steal. They feel uh, and they agree with their president that this election was stolen, even though there is no hard evidence of, uh, of any of that, of the fact that the election uh, was rigged. But when you speak to some of the people, there are those who say no matter what happens, they will always see Donald Trump as the winner of this election. Then there are some who say, well, I think he won. Uh, but if in the end all those court uh, cases go through and nothing is proven and Joe Biden is uh, officially uh, declared the winner and certified, then they will have uh, to deal with the fact that Donald Trump is no longer their president. But you hear a uh, chance here of four more years, whether that means four more years right now or four more years in 2024. That's a question that some of these supporters don't really agree on. So far, the situation has been very calm. There's a lot of music, people coming with families. But as I said, there are those white nationalist groups. I've seen also a few pockets of Black Lives Matter activists, and that is why there is such a heavy police presence, because they are worried that if those groups actually collide it might uh, descend into uh, violence. Everyone, of course, hoping that that will not happen and that this rally will simply be uh, one of uh, support for Donald Trump.